Hi. So you may notice we have a bit of a skull skeleton motif going on today. Got my skull shirt, my skull cardigan, my queen of swords. Nope, blanket back there. Um, and that's because we're going to play a game called Death and Taxes. Now, I haven't played this game before. I was looking in Steam for something that was kind of casual, not a really long game that I could play and record this weekend, kind of like wind down from a really busy, stressful week. So um, I don't know anything about it. We're going to watch the trailer like we did with Viva Land and then go into it and see how it goes. So You are the Grim Reaper. You are death. Welcome Makes to sense. your new job as Grim Reaper number 101. So, obviously, you've been assigned with picking humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. You can choose the ones you save and the ones you can't. And your actions will have consequences. Please try to follow the rules, otherwise I have to fire you. And try not to burn the world down. <laughs> but so, what if I want everything to? Everything clear? Uh, sure. In this 2D short narrative based game, you assume the role of the Grim Reaper on an office job. Your job is to decide which people are going to live or die. The consequences of your choices are yours to bear, while the mystery of your incarnation awaits revelation. Your choices will affect the world around you, keep the chaos away, or foil plots to destroy the world and rise through the ranks of Reapers all the way to middle management. Wow! Death and Taxes is a game in the vein narrative of narrative-based indie titles such as Papers, Please, Reigns, Beholder, and Animal Inspector, to name a few. Have a totally normal office job, talk to your boss, get monies, buy stuff from Mortimer's Plunder Emporium, decorate your desk, do some paperwork, pet the cat, pet the cat, I definitely want to pet the cat, stare in the mirror and talk to yourself, don't let the existential dread set in, don't let it set in, only the fate of humankind is in your hands, it is 100% okay. Listen to that one really catchy tune in the elevator. Features meaningful choices, branching storyline with multiple secret endings, make your own Grim Reaper, fully voiced NPCs, original soundtrack, original artwork featuring watercolor graphics, dialogue options, upgrade shop, and Twitch integration. Okay, I'll show you what I mean by that. So there's a streamer settings and chat can decide who we let live and who dies so if we like it let's see uh maybe we'll play it on stream all right here we go death and taxes i'm really excited hope you guys are excited too click uh left mouse and move the mouse back and forth to move and scroll the mouse button to skip the intro okay lemons Where'd the lemons go? Oh. I am digging the music. Let's pick the outfit first, actually. I don't like that it's like moving. Oh. Oh. I like that better. Okay. What do we think? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do it. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. I'm the spawn. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Do we think he's really honored? Spawn number six, one. I thought we were 101. That's what the, that's what the trailer I said. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Where am I? What is this? What am I? Hello, pleasure to meet you, Fate. I don't match much care for being just 61. Can I be Fate? Another ironic one. <laughs> no, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Okay, how about Reaper, or Grim, for short? Welcome I guess. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4. The Sun County Wine Region. Oh. Okay. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. Okay. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Wait, I have to kill people? I'm not ready for this. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Will I get paid for this? That's Most certainly. One. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Okay. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. But I thought I'm choosing, if so... If you mark more or less than necessary, oh. you will not get your fee at all. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total even if the primary task is... <laughs> executed correctly. <laughs> Pun intended. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium. It speaks very and slowly. Keep the chaos <laughs> in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Alright, where do I work? I was born to do this. Why me? Whatever, let's not. I was born yes, to do this. Yes, you were. Oh. Literally. Okay. I will now show you your workplace. Cool, let's go. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Okay. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. I got this. Facts, Makina. Still need to mark some of the profiles before I end my shift. So there's a bar here. Instructions. I have a phone at least. Good for procrastinating and scrolling through. Cocker. Marker of death. Better pick it up and start marking some files. Well, let's see. Welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life threatening situations within your domain. I'm granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for the day. One human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you've made your decision. Good luck on your first day. Fate. Okay, so we've got two people. We have Ossip von Berede, who's a basketball player. He's 24 years old. Ossip, who started off as a student of sociology, is currently on the path of becoming the highest scoring power forward in local college basketball history. When not training or studying, they often help out in the community. Leland Pol Polyakov is 40 and a grave digger. A yellow sun rises, shots have been fired tonight, is what Leland says every morning, looking into the distance, prepared for all the crime victims that inevitably get brought in that day. Occasionally, they find bones from the dirt and use them to act out key scenes from Whamlet. So... 
Oh, human, what did you get yourself into? Do not go. It's like, can I say no to both? What did they do? Sports Corner, Cosmopolis hosting the basketball season final, final match. Tune in to cheer, tune in or cheer from the arena for the home crowd. Is that it? Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, I guess I can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I didn't realize I only get two for the whole day. Wait. How do I? I want to go up. <laughs> what? Oh. Customers, welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I yeah. am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. I mean, only through the reading the knight. game In description. Quartermaster. But, yeah. <laughs> we gotta talk him up. Maybe he'll give us a discount. I, his me, terror of the way. Uh huh. I might have grown most humble with age. Okay. The tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Mm hmm. Cool. I, the Emporium brims with plunder. I plundered myself. It's like a dead cactus. Okay, thanks. How do I go up? Oh. Does that mean I can't go there? I don't understand. What? <laughs> was your first day? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I know it is your first day. I was supposed to kill Not someone. Well, I, I didn't realize it was only going to be two people. All like, that's... Choices have serious is that every day just two people? Even if you cannot foresee them. Did they say that and I just missed it? Probably. That is what I am for. Okay. Trust me and I will guide you. It will be for the benefit of everyone. Can I pet the cat? No. I am glad you see the realize error that of your ways. Capturing Alas, the cursor so you can't see that it's like a little skull skeleton hand. Let's see if that. Can you see it now? Get that. Isn't that cool? The choices will only get harder from now on. Pay attention to like the that, letter though, so I'm gonna turn it back guidelines. Off. Understood? You got it, dude. I have great hopes for you. Do not disappoint me. I'll try not to. Well, can I? Like. I guess I can't go places where it's not lit up. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. Sports corner. Promising basketball player seriously injures knee in an on-court collision. That's not my fault. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you'll be okay. A simple task to balance out the mishap of yesterday. Quota for the day. One human with an info technology background has to die. Try to be careful. Fate. Now we have three people. Gwendolyn Chi. Gwendolyn is not exactly sure when their career as a network engineer stagnated. It's definitely not what they dreamed of doing with their life. 
but they're barely just content enough and their large family depends on their income. Ar Ar Valborg. Ariker Ariker whatever, is an avid digital sports enthusiast who works at the office of the Parallax Digital Sports League. They are also a death metal vocalist, passionate about getting the very best out of a performance. Park Lee. Park works as a team leader at Toyabishi, providing tech support for a variety of important companies across the northern countries. This can be more interesting than one assumes, as sometimes the programs, com the programs companies use break down in incredibly puzzling ways. So I guess any of these, right? Well, maybe not. Yeah, I guess it'd be anyone. So we want to get rid of the de death metal vocalist. Honestly, getting rid of the tech support person is probably going to just put them out of their misery because I, I know from experience. Live. Live. Hey there. Grim, how was the second day on the job? Great. It gladdens me to hear that. Good. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in it. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Okay. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Rest well. You will need it. Okay. Can I pet the cat? No. Hey, I got money. Let's go buy something. Jolly Roger. Again, oh, you things are different. Oh. Your visit. Okay. Nine hundred. Okay. Well, we'll get. We'll get the fidget spinner another time, I guess. When do I get to go to the bar? I need a mirror for this. Oh. So I can buy a mirror? Open me. Morning, Grim. A new day dawns. You ought to... This is just showcasing my ADHD. The Daily Moon. Parents beware. Death metal artists may be trying to summon demons. Economista IT firm dealing with massive data breach lawsuit caused by a care careless worker. Tech bros. Legendary tech support team die in an airplane crash. All of them? Pro news. Major flaw in Toyobishi Medical equipment leads to the demise of a number of critical patients oh well see we did it right because what he was working on or, or what is it that we did it wrong because if he hadn't died he would have fixed we can't worry about our tough choices that's what fate said anyway a new day dawns you ought to know the drill by now but just in case here's another simple one no special request today try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles and send them to me by fax Two humans have to die today. Okay. What's this? Money? Why? Oh. Oh, it just, my money just. Okay. Open on the weekends. Weekends. I didn't see that part. All right. Um, Am I blocking anything when I pull up a thing? Yes. Oh, that's fine. All right. Leo Bajarski. Bajarski? Politician, gotta die, sorry, what? Leo has been in politics for over 40 years and in that time they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. Jerome K. Nelson, poultry farmer. Jerome loves birds. They started an egg farm several decades ago, but when business was not going well, they had to start selling the meat, which is emotionally very hard for Jerome. They hold a little funeral for every bird, which include little speeches and a bit of crying. What do you mean? Columba Hunter, airplane pilot. Columba is a ding d dingus. <laughs> Columba is a distinguished war veteran these days working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. 
They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Chloe Miller is a rock climber. Chloe is constantly training to conquer the Rockworm Peak by free climbing the full height of it for charity. Their practice regimen was hindered by having their leg broken in three places, an injury they obtained by jumping down in celebration from an indoor climbing wall. Herman Tate, a bassist? Thus far, Herman has had absol an absolutely crazy life, traveling around the globe with their post-rock band. They have two younger sisters who often join the tours. Okay, so easy one here. Um, the other ones aren't so easy. I know, I'm, look, I'm trying to look at them. Herman. Uh, Jerome lives because he loves birds. Uh, I'm getting rid of the war veteran. Want to see what else happens in Herman's crazy life? I think so. Anything good in these? No. Did I do a good job? Grim, my latest spawn. Yeah, I'm Three blocking his face. It's fine. You guys know what he looks like by now. How do you feel? Um. I feel hungry all the time. <laughs> Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Uh, Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. Okay. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Cool. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Okay. Can we buy anything good yet? Who are you? I don't know. Also, what day of the week is it? Prepare for a perilous adventure. Oh I'm no, the fidget spinner is gone. I don't have enough for it anyway. Clothing. Do I get to wear it? This elegant countenance is meant to be worn for celebrations during the gloomiest time of the year. It really brings out the eyes, those deep, soulless, empty, dark eyes. The resonator collect collates accelerated electromagnetic waves of various frequencies generated by the artificial vibration of eternal recurrence, which travel through the aether and then blast them at you. So it's a radio. Cactus, the most brutal of plants. All right. I'm going to save up my money for the fidget spinner. Do, 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 do. Uh, nope, wrong way. There's another person over there. Can I go to the bar? What if I went to... No. I know there are, like, secret endings, so, like, what happens if you just don't go to work? I guess you... <laughs> oh. Crow News. A pilot died in a crash due to a plane factory error. Tomorrow Science. The pitfalls of mechanics industry. Pro news, Sky Mechanics forced to make changes in their production of plane parts. Pro news, local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Sports Corner, Chloe Miller braves the jagged lines of Rockworm Peak for Save Small Souls Children's Foundation. Aw. Vulture Mag, Concert Review, 100 Mods show at the Chaos Theater was both amazing and mental. A letter. Morning, Grim. The sun feels delightful today, does it not? You should take a nice walk during your lunch break. All right, you do not eat. That means no walks. Well, here are the rules. Three humans have to die. Chin up, fade. All right. We have Alameda Quinn, a footballer. Technically skilled and aggressive center forward player, Alameda has already led their football team to international championship victory several times. They aim to become the greatest athlete the Sun County region has ever had. Alexis Wu, a pop singer. Alexis is an, is an uprising star who started their career in a boy band. Recently, they've gone solo and released their first album. They love dogs and having a picnic among friends. Trisha Tala Lajos. Trisha has been doing venipunctures for a oh, phlebotomist for decades, drawing out large quantities of blood, sometimes feeling like a vampire. Lately, their health is taking a turn for the worse, making their hands shake, a symptom they keep ignoring. 
Because of what they keep missing. Because of that, they keep missing the veins of patience. Uh oh. Alessandro Meles. Despite their old age, Alessandro retired from working as a Miagra salesman only a few years ago due to a lack of stamina for this high energy role. They are finally able to enjoy life after decades of hard work, attempting to fulfill their dream of opening an erotic art gallery. I'm not going to put a stop to that. Tatiana Berez Berezina. It might be. Well, whatever. Tatiana decided to become a surgeon after their grandmother died of cancer when they were in their teens. Inspired by stories told by their patients, they wrote a book on medical recoveries in order to help others in pain. Grim, I'm watching. You should mark this profile to live. Oh, okay. We're following directions. Um, listen, I have to get rid of three people, so... Between Alessandro and Alexis. Listen, the pop the pop industry is real rough. But we could be helping him out. I think we don't we want I want to see the erotic art gallery personally. At some point we're gonna stop following the rules and then we'll get in trouble, but that's okay. Did I do a good job, boss? Grim, there you are. Let mm -hmm. us be quick. Let us. <laughs> Let us. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Thanks. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilant. Thanks. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within <gasps> me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good- Fate is proud of me, guys. Person. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. I'd rather not. Imagine the possibilities. I already deal with that in real life. It's terrible. Oh, can I pet the cat yet? Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Okay. Until tomorrow, Grim. Okay, bye. You think the fidget, fidget spinner's back? What ho! <gasps> How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Grim cape. Oh, but yes. Well, blow me down, lad. Tis the arcane fibbledy scoop of some wizard whose name I ne'er got. Looks all great. All clicks and crackles and fiddles and bops. Found its scale in a tower. I thought you weren't adventurous. The wee buggers couldn't get enough of it. Mm. Playing so hard they forgot about frivolous things. Like food or sleep. <laughs> Tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands. I got lots of those. Well, two hands, ten fingers, the normal amount. Oh. What is it? I want it. Hello? Oh, I see. It's my fidget spinner. Ex-member of boy band Youth Sector killed in airplane crash. A lot of these are plane crashes. Fans demand an explanation. Sports corner. Tragedy strikes as the Sun County Regional Football Team loses their central player in a plane crash. Crow News. Old man opens erotic art gallery. The Daily Moon. Pregnancy rate suddenly increasing. Scientists, ba scientists baffled. Scientists discover new strain of super tuberculosis. Dormant plague bacteria discovered in permafrost waiting to be released. Morning, Grim. Good, you're paying attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent, else mistakes may sneak into the workflow pipe pipeline. Quota for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. I hope you're enjoying the routine, fate. Uh, fate. Let's put you here. Okay. Saitaro is a grad student at a microbiology lab where the research is focused on studying tuberculosis. They edit the tuberculosis genome to see how the changes affect the bacteria. 
Saitaro dreams of working in a facility that has proper ventilation unlike their current lab. I'm not allowed to do anything with scientists. Nora, Sophia, wait, how many? Two. Nora turned to regular embezzlement after a multi-level marketing scheme failed. The beauty products and the cognitive enhancers were just not selling. All this to pay off their mortgage and to keep their child in a decent school. Nora films claymation shorts in their spare time. Nora can die. Jody De Silva. Until recently, Jody embraced their life as a librarian. One day, they visited an exhibition at a recently opened erotic art museum. There, they experienced an awakening of sorts, ditching their previous profession to become a thong salesperson instead. You can live. Ajira a Bankel. Ajiro is currently organizing an excavation in the colder regions, digging up some permafrost in the hopes of finding artifacts from the fabled age of the colossal hamsters. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm gonna get this one wrong. Chiel focuses on researching red dwarves and the possibility of finding habitable planets in their systems. As a lifelong science fiction fan, they were sad but accepting of their children dressing up as bow-wielding fair folk from a fantastical novel. Uh... Oh, I didn't... AG is currently incarcerated at the local jail for producing hard drugs at the organic synthesis lab. They had access to as a chemistry student. They have a science background, sort of. They still dream of finishing their degree program after getting out of jail. AG now wants to be a diplomat as they are currently negotiating gang deals. We're gonna go with Z die because that's less obvious. Yeah. I think this one's gonna be uh Iffy. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. I don't like the way that sounds. Good. I see oh. the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Okay. Anyway, Grim. Oh. Five days you have been with us. Phew. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Uh, I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Meh, a job like any other. Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. I still feel awful about every choice. Every moment is living hell. I hate this job. Is it, though? Oh. I can almost imagine what a normal, basic, dreadful, every job Trust me, it's a nightmare. Like. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? This is a test. Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. True. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. I mean, I've read the news, but... This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. Uh. True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Yeah? Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Why haven't I seen any underage profiles? I'm not going to ask that. What if they start giving me children? What's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? Not really. Oh. <clears throat> not at all. Oh. It's, don't they influence the humans can't actually affect anything? You don't sound too sure about that. Mm, I am. Quite so. Is it predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. Mm. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk. The result of their own deeds and decisions. I see. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade. So do not worry oh. about it. Oh. Rude. But Anything fair. else? Um, I assume it's because we aren't assuming their gender. An astute observation. 
Our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human. I like this. After all, excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. Le what does that mean? The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow What's the them. point of asking questions if the answer is follow the rules Anything for everything? Else? Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Is tomorrow the weekend? Does that mean I can go to the bar? I want to check out this bar situation. Panic arises as new super tuberculosis escapes lab. Doctors believe elders to be most susceptible. Archaeological excavation of the permafrost releases plague, which is spreading rapidly. Window shopping for planets. Could this planet be our future home? Chemistry puns gone wrong. An inmate at local jail stabbed to death. Our small town prodigy moves to the city. We say reach for the stars. Scientists very close to figuring out how to counter a dangerous pathogen. Tech bros, check out these awesome personal jetpacks. Morning, Grim. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. A qu quota for the day. A total of six humans have to die. At least two humans aged 35 or younger have to die. Any humans with a medical background have to die. Let's put that over here so we can keep an eye on it. Put you over here so we can keep playing games. Kelsey special oh, Kelsey Hadley. Kelsey specializes in ch children's psychology. They want to be a mother and kindergarten teacher. Their main hobbies are watching and criticizing films and swimming. KG Sakai. KG made a fortune with their protein fac bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard-earned fortune on helping the community, supplying the impoverished re regions with free potato plants and helping them become self-sufficient. Any humans with a medical background, okay. Ewald Buddy. Ewald, a child prodigy, has been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. That doesn't seem safe. They're well established as a medical professional in academia and in practice. Ewald is addicted to adrenaline and is well known for take- No! No! <laughs> fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Whoops. <clears throat> Samara L. Downey. Samara has worked in the homicide department only for a few years, but has already shown great talent in solving seemingly unsolvable mur murder cases. They are currently after an unknown serial killer who is suspected to be working for the local church. Annabelle tells. A student. Annabelle's devoted themselves to becoming either an astrophysicist or an astronaut. The two things are somewhat related. They are also enjoying painting mostly nudes, computer programming, and volleyball. Constantine Darabont, a spelunker. <clears throat> Potholing, spelunking, caving, call it however you want. Constantine loves the exploration of wild cave systems. It's physically challenging and can sometimes be dangerous, but Constantine always takes time to prepare. They hope to inspire more people into this pastime. Ye Hama, immunologist. For the past 15 years, Ye has spent every day working in a windowless concrete bunker, testing various vaccines in order to eradicate some of the deadliest diseases in the world. During off times, they enjoy lengthy bike rides. I mean, we already fucked up the medical background thing, but... Adira Perez. Adira retired just a few years ago after they felt they had saved enough money to live comfortably. Their holiday plans were put on hold due to the recent out outbreak of super tuberculosis. Okay, so I, I'm assuming child psychology were counting as medical. He, he can live and that means everybody else has to die. If we're going to at least make the six quota. Sorry, guys. It's my bad. I fucked up. Okay. Yeah.
Can I go to the bar before I go see? Yeah! Hey, Gus. You guys can't see Gus. Hold on. <clears throat> the air is eerily cold, as if frozen in place, too scared to move an inch. Hi! Uh, what, what do you want? Uh, you can talk. I'm a new Grim, number 61. What's up? Sorry to bother you. I came here to meet new people. Why is he so quiet? Baby Lemonhead. Now, Gus, play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You want to ask questions or something? Yeah, I see where I'm blocking it. Uh, what can you tell me about the bark? Oh. Why, thank you. You're not oh, cute. Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. What do you do here? I'm the janitor. I clean I see. up the damn mess you make. What mess? I didn't do anything. In the mirror, or thought about the clientele this place. I don't have a mirror. Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage straight to the floor. Oops. Oh no, I'm still blocking. It's fine. <clears throat> I was wondering why the floor's so sticky. I get to the world from all you pompous reapers. Kinda rude. Or could be at least a little more considerate. I appreciate you. Oh. Thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? How do you clean things anyway? You're a ghost. Simple. I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. Okay. Like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the juice. Oh. One droplet at a time. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Gives me something to do. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lonely drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them, literally. Uh, I've got a name. Are you really? Or are you just another number in a long line of numbers, hmm? Eh, something else you wanted? Who were you before? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, you know, what human were you? Are you the ghost of a profile? Oh, I was just wondering about your past. Have you thought I'm the ghost of some dead human or beast or what? I mean, you're kind of human-like. Maybe folks should get over this common misconception. No. Oh. oh, ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts, worth beings unto ourselves. I see. I am the ghost of a ghost. Uh, hang on, you were a ghost and then you died? How does that work? Does that mean you're practically immortal? Uh, how does that work? I think I ghosted around a long while, doing my ghost business, and then one day, I died. I see. Sort of. I know what you're thinking now, and... There is a ghost apartment. Northeasterly direction down on floor 133. Not cool. Too busy over at Geist Hall, though. Ghosts don't die that often. Comes with the territory. Eh, I see. Something else you wanted? Nope, yeah, nice talking to you. Want to get back to work anyway. Yeah, it sounds pretty tedious. Oh. Oh, I can't click on. I thought, man, play of the month. Oh. Working with mortals, fate is a lie. Crow patrol, fallen murders. Meet your fate, Grim Day, Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Empor Emporium. She cute. They cute. Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to Cerberus's Den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the world. Like the voices are way quiet down here compared to the rest of the game, and the music's really loud compared. Uh, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Sir, as heck, I haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. I'm five days old. Thank you. That's exactly what I was going for. I'm so happy someone noticed. So, are you liking existence thus far? Um, feels pretty good to be alive in a sense. It sucks. I kind of hate it here. Lots of tedious paperwork so far. Oh, don't I know it? The ministry yeah. of bureaucracy just can't be escaped. True. Find you. That's why you figure out the small cracks in the system you can manipulate. Tell me more. Okay, newbie, before we continue, okay. about this little uh, game I play with every fresh faced patron. It's real simple. Okay. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. I love quizzes. I'm not so sure. Fun and games, so not my style. I love right, quizzes. 
situation and you answer how you react. I usually do four questions and nothing else to it. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. I'm ready. You and a friend are valiant but poor warriors. You will venture out to slay a mighty dragon. It's a fierce battle. Very quiet. The voices are so quiet. At the end, your friend thinks he slew the dragon, while in actuality, you did. When asked, what if I'm wrong? Why should anyone else get my golden glory? I'll, if I just rid myself of the friend, there will be no questions. Surely the re reward can be shared by all. Time for question number two. You see a turtle laying on its back, belly baking in the scorching sun. It beats its legs, trying to flip over, but it can't. You need out your help. I like my turtle. Well done. Ooh. Why aren't you helping? What? I have to do everything around here? I help those who help themselves. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Good point, though. If you just help everybody, that you may be enabling bad habits. You. But can a turtle help itself? Next up, question three. After being tasked with creating a computer game about dating monstrous eldritch gods, you come up with several characters. I've seen a game like that. Which of the possible god beings is clearly the hottest and most dateable of the lot? Ab Nippereth, mostly abs, but with a gorgeous blonde mane. As a, as a hot, the blind idiot god. At least they're fuzzy. Ugo Sa Sathla, a grotesque tree with a warm heart. Jubiflex, one arm, eternal flexing. Nameless Misty, ethereal beauty if a bit translucent. Wolfram, half wolf, half ram, half tank. Hmm, let's go with Misty. All right, final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs. Right. Sure. After years of working a stable, albeit a monotonous office desk job, you are let go due to a corporate downsizing. I feel like I keep getting out of frame now because I changed the size. Okay. This, however, has given you a chance to reinvent yourself. What will you become? I'd like to become a mathematician working on equations. Fuck no. An executioner, the harvester of human sorrow. Working is dumb and lame and pointless. I hate all of these options, but we're going to go with this one. Got it. Hmm. Leans to stability. Pro Balancer, score a vague personality in Sari's quiz. The appropriate concoction in mind. Start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of sugar. Dude, that sounds like my drink, actually. One centiliter of sugar syrup, two deciliters of club soda. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Flashing some lime juice concentrate at several. Cucumber and some fruit bars. Uh, yeah. Please Can I have this right now? Borehole. I think a suitable name would be Borehole. Well, that. Now I'm sad, but the drink sounds amazing. Sure. I don't know what that means. The drink, smooth waves rolling onto the coast, then receding, gradually, a constant rhythm of symmetrical alternation, grinding off the edges. The taste recalls a harmonious interplay of physical forces soothing a turbulent soul, until the, all that's left is a polished plane of alabaster. It's almost a death-changing experience. Okay, it's fairly decent, reasonably yummy, I guess I like it, because these are all the same. Heck, an understatement of the century! Now what else can I get you? Your tip jar is pretty neat. I'd like a drink. What's your take on the janitor? Who else works in the office? You've been chatting to our spooky one, eh? <laughs> eh? Don't mind the grump of the ghost thing. I see. Gus especially has a pretty dang irascible nature, but there's a layer of performance to it. In truth, they've been hella helpful around the den throughout the ages. I'm grateful for that. Cool. Besides, the office itself couldn't operate without Gus and company. What else you got in mind? Oh, thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shroud. I don't zones. know. I don't see the tip jar, so I don't know what it is that we're talking it's about. But a hassle though keeps multiplying all the time. Uh, Take your eye off for a second, and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. I have to look for that when we get out of this dialogue. Come on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Okay. Uh, who else works Heck, in the office? Were I able to count and name all the folks? Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. 
This is gonna be very confusing in the edit, it's fine. We've got you Reapers and all the myriad departments, the Custodian Legion, the weary list data grinders of the Calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists. Does that make sound? I'm so sorry. Mm -mm. Doesn't look like it. Cadaver resources. They're just plain odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Sure. Middle management. Nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us. Basically ever. Same with Bummer. Faith. Many of the regular workers come by the dead mill, so keep your eyes and ears open. You got it. What else you got in mind? That's it. Little Reaper. Sure. Um, where's the tip jar that I can take? What did you mean by that? Oh. Maybe she just gave it to me. I don't, I literally don't see a tip jar, so I'm confused. How I knew. Yeah, the volume is way different. Oh, I forgot that I haven't even ah, been here. Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. Is it? New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I did fuck up. Is he gonna yell at me about it? Good, good. We have to do what is necessary. Okay. Even if we do not fully understand why. Sure. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Uh, don't you know what happened? You're in charge after all. Some sort of medical calamity, maybe? Yeah, the tuberculosis thing? Beats me, a day like any other. Don't really care. Death is death. I know it was bad. That's what matters. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Mm -hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Uh. Okay, but do I have a... Yeah, look at that! So cute! Can I... But... University mourns as grim epidemic claims the life of promising student. Immunologist dead as epidemic hits hardest at those trying to combat it. Renowned neurosurgeon survives breaking most bones in body after near-fatal fall from skyscraper for danger dangerous stunt. Citizens of Ayaria getting healthier and happier due to increased potato consumption. Super tuberculosis death toll rising. Charity auction takes place in rural, rural Cosmopolis. Bring your friends. Um... So can I not put these in the... My, my tip guy went away. Oh, right. Spawn mail. Morning, Grim. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave the troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Go to for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Keep vigilant. Mavis undergrad. Under... Yeah, underguard. Mavis is a grandparent with an estranged grandchild named Guy, who, with whom they see, seek to reconcile. After retirement, they move to a calm country home where they spend most of their time knitting. They own a marvelous collection of porcelain. Anna von Wolfenstein. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of the bringing of justice, but because of the political power and the, the position brings. And Anna likes having power and influence a little too much. Orisa, esoteric self-help mentor. After years of struggling to pay their debts by selling nostalgia-laden mer laden merchandise of a vaguely self-help nature, Orisa finally found a brand new avenue into helping people for money. Dyed rocks and magic-infused minerals. Oh, magic-infused whatever. Raphael Sen Sentander, private detective. Raphael always had a problem with authority, which is why they got fired from their previous police job for insubordination. They prefer to work alone anyway. They started an investigation firm hoping to catch dangerous criminals, but mostly get hired to follow cheating spouses and take incriminating photos. Brian Calathina... <laughs> Brian Calathina... Brian Calathinakos, 31 janitor. 
Raking leaves is hard. Blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. This is why Brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower, starting already at 6 in the morning. The toxic fumes the machine emits don't concern them one bit. Francois Fukushima. A liar and a grifter, Francois is an ex-politician who has spent many years writing books of ignorant nonsense. <laughs> These words and actions caused a veritable butterfly effect of misery on a global scale, which they now profit off of. Huh. How, how would any of these people be helpful against the troubles? Aren't the troubles medical in nature? I mean, all of these people kind of... All right, we'll let you live. We'll let you live. No, just because that sounds annoying. It says two humans have to die. It doesn't say only two humans have to die. You know what I mean? That's probably fucked up of me, but did I already look here? Yeah. Can I put these? It's still the weekend, right? Oh. Barkeep, when did you get this plant? What are you doing here, old plant? Odd plant. Oh. What do you think? Having a nice, relaxing drink? <laughs> Hang on, are you from the plant Who department? Who told you about the plant department? Am I not supposed to know about the plant no department? No one is supposed to know about the plant department. Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such Sonny. thing anywhere. I don't believe not you. Not gonna lose any sleep over that, Sonny. You can tell me. Uh, ain't nothing to tell. Really? We deny everything. Come on, tell me. Stop an old plan, why don't you? Seriously, you can trust me. Can we? Can we really? I can keep a secret. You have to tell me. You're not gonna leave us alone, otherwise. Yeah. Exactly. Sunny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big, but it's very busy. Why? What do you think? It's a department for managing plant life. There are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Plants everywhere. Why don't you just say so? We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. Okay. Is why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Does it? Because the, the bar is only open two days. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? Doesn't the mystery act just make you more compelling to people? Eh, might be. Can't help it though. There's theater in my xylem. Okay. Anything else? Seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry. Is there really nothing unusual at the plant department? Okay. You see you got a keen mind. So we'll let you in on a secret. What is it? I guess I have to press you continue. Didn't hear this from us. Got a promise you won't spill a bean. Not any no, I would never. If at some point you break your word, beware. Our rhizome reaches far and wide. Right into your room if need be. Sexy? And these roots can rip oh. the skull off a skeleton in an instant. Snap. Sure, just tell me. We are secretly developing a way. Death mark to create fungus based undead who will devour the world. Are you just messing with me? No. Obviously, we're super serious. And this whole root snapping bones thing? Honestly, Sonny, we just use a knife. <laughs> cool. So, what's your name? I'm Herbert. Nice to you meet know, you. Sort of like a herb, Ert. Yep. A herb. <laughs> I get it. For you to have a brain. Not as lucky when it comes to the green one holding me up. My friend Tim's a bit slow on the uptake. Say Tim, hello, huh? Tim. Hello, Tim. 
<laughs> Who's Tim? It's clearly Tim's the plant, like but all root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom and have the most delightful aroma. Oh, nice! And the bees from the bee department find us very attractive. Anything else? There's a bee department. Of course, makes perfect sense, don't it? Nothing makes sense around here. Uh, don't ask about the bee department. <sighs> okay, of course. Anything else? No, catch Not you later. Lifetime, okay. Anything new new from you guys? No, I can't can't even talk to Gus, I guess. Hey, hey pleased to see you again. Yeah. What's happening here today? It's a slow What's Sunday. A, uh, Anything I can get you? What's the deal with the plant? You mean my favorite pot chock full of plant department goodness? I assume, since that's the only plant. They usually drop it on Sundays due to an aversion of people, which is funny because they're really quite sociable. I see that. Personally, I love their quirky sense of humor. Sure. What else is there to say? That's it. Au revoir, Lil Au revoir. I guess that's, uh, that's all we got. Gus doesn't want to say anything. Oh. I guess we haven't gone to check the Emporium. Need ye cures for ailments so I friggin' ward off a curse? Ah, oh, the mirror! Oh, that's only it. Yes, I do want that. Tis wondrous marvel. Uh huh. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Uh huh. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood, washed ashore. And the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covers it in all gold, too. Coarse. Mm. I, a proper beauty. I see. A perfectly regular sized toy gerbil made out of rubber. Anpu, god of the dead, mummification, embalming the afterlife, cemeteries and tombs, and the protector of the underworld. This hound really gets around and grants you a stunningly canine visage. Oh. Another time, perhaps. What's that sound? Knock knock. Uh, who's there? That's exactly the question, ain't it? Yeah. Who are you? We are the exalted Chimera, envied okay. by all the blind, arrogant fools. Who is Chimera? We are Angst Ex Milio. We are nothing. A despicable failure. Okay. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. Okay. We are death. Thought I was death. How does it feel? Uh. uh it feels fine. Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? I guess so. Oops. It's a grim world out there. No, I still like Queen. Okay. Why not? Hey there. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think Ooh. you have been doing? I'm so sorry. Pushing hit profiles come in, I send them out. Clockwork. Dismal. I hate everything about this job. I think I've managed to follow the rules. I'm just surprised I've made it this far. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Okay. Now then, before the assessment, mm -hmm. let us look over your daily conduct. Sure. I see more people died than required. Is that... Bad? It does not bode well for the evaluation, oh. but such is death. Let us get started. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say you have performed adequately. Oh, thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. Oh. This is not praise. I had hoped for more than adequate gotcha do not let this cloud your judgment you still have much to learn and many rules to follow 
One gets used to them if in the right mindset. Ah. Uh. Fret not. Okay. As such, your seven day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. Okay. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Zero monies. That's okay. Let's see. Can I? I can't move him. Private Eye accidentally catches an illegal arms deal in the in the act while trailing adulterous spouse. Our most popular video of the month: Danitor chasing a single leaf for three hours. <laughs> Urban air quality worsening. Stress levels of citizens rising. Are leaf blowers the cause? Abandoned mine shaft collapses. Unidentified body found within the debris. Popular political commenter dies of a heart attack. Morning, Grim. An odd hush ripples across the world. That is what happens when someone is not paying attention to their instructions. Keep this up and the world will be nothing but vacant ruins. Good for tourism, perhaps, but not much else. Quota for the day, three humans have to die. Spare any humans with a religious background. Getting back on track, fate. All right. Spare anyone with a religious background. What? What did that say? Good for organizing stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Jesse Ford, vicar. Jesse is committed to writing the perfect sermon and are thus oblivious to the turmoil at home. Their spouse is fighting a substance abuse pro problem and their children are planning debauched parties. Luckily, Jesse just found a new maid with unusual but effective methods for keeping things under control. I don't want to spare that. That sounds bad. Mercury Saint Ionis. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Motivational speaker. Nature was not stingy when it came to granting charisma unto Mercury. A true silver tongue, this smooth talker could convince anyone to do almost anything. As such, they found their calling in being a motivational speaker. Recently, they've included proselytizing into their ov oh, over, oh, whatever. Uh, Masashige Oni Lanzo, engineer, musician, part-time scholar, part-time engineer, and part-time musician who delights in building their own musical instruments out of scrap and spare parts. Kyo Akihito, farmer. Kyo has lived in four different countries finally setting down at the Sun County Wine Region, where they now work as a vi viticulturist. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit often. Stanislav Durov is a typist. Stanislav works at Cosmo Cosmopolis City Courthouse. They have a few goals in life, other they have few goals in life other than becoming the world's fastest typist. Already their fingers run across a keyboard like bolts of lightning, but they feel there's more that could be achieved. So he's the only one with the religious background I'm gonna well I'm gonna go I don't know that that's religious I have to kill three people uh, like a uh, few goals in life be more ambitious I don't know Wait. What? Oh, whoops. I mean, I can't undo my choices, so yeah, I guess I have to. I'm gonna get in trouble. Grim. Ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. Listening. You have allowed too many to live. Mm. Oh. You really ought to be getting the I hang know. of this Sorry. by now. However, I do not have the time to harangue you further at the moment. An emergency has occurred, and I must depart for a couple of days. What kind of emergency? Okay, listen up and 
keep this to yourself. Does it have something to do with the bees? Some physicist oh. is about to push a cart of unusual and hazardous material into the beam of a spectrometer. Ah. I have to see if this causes a cascade reaction of some sort. It may prove illuminating. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> while I am gone, another will be in charge. Oh. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any yeah, supervision. Yeah. You will have more freedom, sure. I will. But it is not limitless. Okay. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. Who will I report to? Why? You are already acquainted. <gasps> the cat? Lady Poddington, of course. Of course. Oh. This is the best day. Can't stop playing now. Can I just want to move the pig out of the way? Uh, that's a bunch of plant stuff. Noted motivational speaker commits suicide in jail. Cause of arrest to be revealed soon. The case of the missing dogs. New sightings of the swamp leopard. Typist bleeds type typist bleeds trying to perform a demonic ritual summoning in order to gain supernatural typing skills uh oh, i wasn't done where are the bees disappearing weather report windy and dry days ahead the rules greetings from afar grim so right after i left mere moments it seems to me something happened at the plant department do not ask as such i need you to fill in today basically as a grim for them i hope it's okay quota for the day three plants have to die good luck Okay. Dionea muscipula 929. Dionea, a Venus flytrap, is hidden in the grass next to a small path to the local honey farm. It almost got stepped on by a farmer, a dog, a horse, and two children. It has good living conditions with plenty of food available each day. Quercus robar, rober, 814. Quercus is a really large and old oak tree in the Cosmopolis City Dog Park. It is a home to a family of squirrels while also providing a safe space, safe place for a local cat that likes to watch dogs and their owners walk by. Allopecorus pretensis. Allo this one, also known as the meadow foxtail, is grass. I swear if I have to make another file about a blade of grass, I will quit. Okay. Callie Tragus, 98352. Callie is a pink rounded clump of branch tangled stems, each one up to about a meter long. Callie and their brothers and sisters started growing after a wildfire cleaned up a large patch of land. No other plants could survive on the dry soil. Callie enjoys traveling and beautiful architecture. This is more grass. Uh, it's a blade of grass. It grows lo lonesome on the side of a pavement. Uh it's a blade of grass. It grows lonesome on the side of pavement at the Cosmopolis city center. It will likely wilt if not tended to. Whoever would do that, however, remains a mystery. It's a miracle the blade of grass has even survived this long. Life, uh, finds a way, I guess. Okay, um, we need to kill one more thing. So I don't want to do the tree. Uh, I don't want to do the... F well, this one is, like, already struggling to have, like... It seems like it everything all all signs point to it uh being in the danger zone constantly, so I wanna pet the cat. This is the best day. The cat sits behind the table, very serious and official like, ignoring your presence. Oh my gods, you are just so incredibly cute and fluffy! Slowly, the cat turns her head towards you, her eyes blazing with annoyance. <coughs> Meow, she mutters, then places her paw upon some documents littering the table. The cat repeats a sequence of contented meows. She then curls back into a ball and closes her eyes. Well, this was useful. Okay, so it's gonna be like this every day. Uh, see you tomorrow, I guess. The cat has already resumed ignoring your presence. She purrs softly. Meow, she declares as you make your way out the door. Fair. Fair enough. Nope. I want to move the fucking... 
chicken. Yeah, okay. What do we got? A farmer found the reason of the di bees disappearing. Carnivorous plants. Tumbleweed killer. The Cali plant growth this year has been heavy, covering an entire building and preventing people from escaping a fire. <laughs> New trees planted in Cosmopolis City local dog park. City council to city council brainstorms ideas to turn Cosmopolis City green after the last blade of grass in city found wilted near a sidewalk. <laughs> MeTube. Look at this cute video of angry cat eating grass and meowing at the same time. Morning, Grim. All right, we're back to normal. The plant department got their act together. You, however, should be intimately familiar with the drill by now. We mitigate chaos, we bolster order, etc. Two humans have to die. Let us balance the world, fate. Can I? I did not realize. I didn't. I didn't know that I could move this. Okay. Aisling Pull, seismologist. When just a kid, Aisling went through a terrifying earthquake. Obstinate by nature, they decided to confront their fear by studying to be a seismologist. These days, they lead a research team at the Mountainhead Earthquake Monitoring Station. Mahala I, sous chef. Mahala is a rising star in the culinary world. Vicariously executing the head chefs with will with an iron fist and brass mouth, their workers have daydreams of their tragic demise. What? Andreas Katazukis, a veteran. Andreas is a traumatized veteran of the Marisola Peninsula conflict, now living on the streets. They are very good with animals and are a staunch vegetarian, even while being in the rough. Sometimes one has just seen too much suffering and death. Rufus Bensusen, retired. Gone are the days of descending into the darkened depths of deep caverns, drill in hand, but Rufus remembers them fondly nonetheless. It was a time of danger, but also of exploration and accomplishment. Now retired, Rufus spends all their time in an old folks' home, dispirited. Okay, so you can live. You apparently make everyone's life a living, living hell. Uh, you can live. Sorry, Rufus. Anything? I think I have to put stuff in there. <clears throat> Go see the kitty. Oh, as you enter, the cat paces around on the table as if annoyed and irritated. Meow, the cat notes while casually twirling around on her spot, pawing at the table. I'll take this to mean that I'm doing well. Still not sure this is a valuable use of our of my time. Later, cat, I'll be back tomorrow. Take this. Cat carelessly stretches and shakes herself, seeming more or less pleased. A swift nod toward the door with her head makes it clear you should be leaving. Okay. Uh. We got more to ah, me. Perhaps he requires a delightful gift for a significant friend. I don't know. Can I give gifts to friends? The infernal illuminator reveals that which is most deeply hidden once you've already made the choices and are passing through again. Else it can't show much anything because that's how things work, right? It's the radio. This suit would make me look sharp and professional while the bow tie adds a subtle flavor of levity. Fit for the funeral or cl of clowns. Let's get the ethereal resonator. Yeah. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I didn't ask, but I dare not even recall the details. But since you wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in. Tore it out and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Okay. No. Right, I can't actually get to that until tomorrow. Wait, there's something I have to do with the little one. I don't remember what. Uh, why is this one red? Oh. I like this one. Many lives saved as dedicated researcher warns Cosmopolis City in the nick of time. Oh, yeah. 
science community calls to increase funding of the mountain head. I think I'm going to turn the music down a little bit, actually. Okay. Fire at the Astrarium. Assisted living facility claims one life. Tragic death of sous chef. Two different types of poison found in the body. Cause of death hypothermia due to being locked in the freezer. <laughs> CEO of the Wat Wat social media platform planning to open a museum of antiques and ref uh, relics. Morning, Grim. I see your hands will be kept mighty busy today. Tragedy and catastrophes happen more often than anyone would prefer, yes? Yet in the very end, it's all fair, is it not? Quota for the day, four humans have to die. Spare anyone with a medical background. Let's put you over here. Well, no time to waste. Get thee to it, fate. What? Why is this one red? Michael Batar, postal clerk. Michael has been dedicated worker at the... Okay, Grim, yes, you, listen up. Why are you such a tool? Sitting at your desk, going over all the profiles like a mindless drone? It's time to break the rules. I want you to doom all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. I don't know who's saying that, so we're just going to do it. Ala works long shifts at the local hospital, giving both MRT and CT scans. They can handle even the most difficult patients, take great care to do the job correctly, and have been chosen as the radiologist of the month many times. Greg Gregor Hale, archaeologist. Legitimate researcher, greedy tomb raider. Consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Faradin region. Joshua Lasker, cryptocurrency enthusiast. I don't even need to read it. <laughs> it took a while for Joshua to get hyped about the digi doubloon cryptocurrency, which just had a third surprising major rise in value. They love to tell everyone they meet how digi doubloon is better than other cryptocurrencies. If they make a lot of money. They plan to open a CrossFit studio. It's like, does the better of shit, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, garbage is garbage. Anita Lee. Oop. What? I can draw in here? I didn't know this. Well, now I can't read it. Uh, can't, uh, shit. Well, something, something, something. Do, 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 do. Ain't nothing better than pressing that pedal to the metal. Feel the torque ramp up. Blast over a dirt road. Juniper lives for the excitement. The rush of adrenaline, which is surprising, as when not behind the wheel, Juniper is very calm and cool, always keeping their emotions in check. Okay, uh, here's a question. Can I draw on other things? Oh. I just got really excited about that. Well, let's see what happens. I don't know who told me to do that. <laughs> Doom everyone on a single day. You think the cat's gonna be mean? Uh, Grim hey. is there. Yes. Oh. <laughs> meow, meow. The cat grumbles at the phone receiver. Grim, I am most disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion. But I had a no. Must I reiterate myself? You cannot mark every person to death. But if too many perish, the result. Remember the last time I had a no on a page and you were the whole proud plan. of me? What is the plan anyway? Grim, hello? Cassie, why is there always a connection error at the most inopportune moment? Ow! A frustrated meow escapes the cat. I hope my words reach you, even if the reverse is not the case. Mm. Understand that this is not a path you wish to take. I will note this down as your second warning. There will not be many more. Okay. Good night, Grim. Good night. Gather your wits before you act. Sure. Cat glares at you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, kitty. <laughs> That wasn't so good. Oh. Was it? It's okay. I didn't know I could keep talking to this. To make it work. Okay. First bend clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? That's true. It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very I... close, Glenn. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that matches. Okay. Yep. Yep. 
Young medic struck dead as ambulance crashes due to aftershocks of recent devastating earthquake. Digi doubloon value keeps fluctuating wildly. Noted archaeologist caught attempting to smuggle ancient artifacts out of Faraday and shot by a militia group. Grim scene and local hospital explosion. Patient presumed to have ingested grenades prior to MRI scan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Accident at the Intercontinental Continental Rally Challenge claims life of rally driver and their navigator. Rowdy parties on the rise cause disturbances at various neighborhoods. Black holes set to end life, end all life. The world's oldest person still around and kicking. Okay, a letter. Good day, Grim. The world is a wondrous thing. You would not believe what I have seen out here. Even within the ruins. Even within the ruins. Now, would you kindly try to help out the survivors of the turmoil of yesterday? Quota for the day. Three humans have to die. Spare any students. An unforeseen logic guides our hand, but a logic nonetheless. Fate. Fiona Yao, mathematician. A sharp mind and quick wit have served Fiona well. They are the maths ex expert in a popular science show, making maths cool again and hoping no one notices their extensive tax fraud endeavors. Philip Harms, student. Philip is a random guy, a very random guy, meaning they enjoy chaotic and odd behavior. For example, they love playing pranks their friends and playing pranks on their friends and conducting occult rituals. They also have a personal catchphrase of stay out of harm's way and they are fond of animal skulls. This sounds terrible, but apparently we have to spare them because they're a student. Kagosi MM, systems analyst. Kagosi is on the verge of finishing, finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low cost drones. It would use cutting edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. They got the idea while looking at a stressed food delivery person on a bike in the rain. Matthias Uliam, student. It has been said that Matthias talks too much, however they themselves think they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion and they are endlessly fascinated by black holes. Uh, we have to keep them alive. Aaron J. Rosen, drug dealer. Aaron is a small-time criminal selling low-grade narcotics to those who just want to party. Lately, they've started experimenting with different chemical compounds to figure out if they could con concoct any new interesting blends. Justice Esiskri. Justice takes greatest pleasure in listening to wondrous bird songs every morning after waking up. They spend most of their time at home as moving around has become burdensome. Although it's still possible, they love vanilla ice cream and bananas. He's 114 years old. Um... We're gonna keep the 114 year old alive just for fun. And everybody else, I guess, has to die. Yes. I don't know what to do with this, like, little tiny guy, but. Is it weekend yet? No. <laughs> Hi, cat. The cat seems to be in slumber, occasionally emanating a soft snore like Pearl. Ah, I still can't believe how fluffy you are. Psst, kitty cat, time for the review. Wake up, cat. I don't have all day to waste. Meow, the cat mutters and annoyed meow through her snores. I just want to pet you, cat. She lifts her head, her stare fierce, making it seem like petting her would be one extremely bad idea. I don't care. I want to pet the cat. Ah, so cute. The cat bares her teeth. <laughs> they look incredibly sharp. Sharp enough to chew through any osseous material. You won't bite me. It'd be inappropriate in, in a workplace environment. I'm doing it. No one can stop me. Okay, maybe I shouldn't touch my boss. Let's do the review thing instead. The cat stands up. Her back arched and tail flicking sharply back and forth. Squeak! The toy emits a, a shrill sound that cuts through everything. What in the... You weren't even touching the toy. That was a bad idea. Good call, gerbil. Slowly, the cat rotates her head while continuing to stare right at you. It almost looks as if like there's a ghostly mischievous grin on her face. Sluggishly, and with disdain for your discourtesy, the cat sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. The cat continues inspecting the documents for a few seconds, then turns away, seeming pleased. Hey, can I ask you some questions instead? The cat stares at you, slowly blinking. Um, what do you think of fate? Meow meow, the cat notes melodiously. Mm-hmm. She blinks at you, perplexed. What do you think of death? Cat shakes herself in a manner which seems entirely indecipherable. Okay. She blinks at you, perplexed. But what do you think of the common systems of the taxation? <laughs> meow, the cat meows. I mean, taxing the impoverished, giving cuts and benefits to the already rich. Cat looks at you quizzically. The whole setup only creates a trickle-up system where it's equal to begin with. Cat is absentmindedly poking at the papers on the table with her paw. And it's clearly not balanced, hence why people always end with a version of oligarchy. 
Cat is starting to nod off, and technically that has nodding in it, so it signals agreement. She blinks at you, perfect. perplexed. That was inform this was informative. I'll be going now. The cat curls back into a ball and continues her previously disturbed slumber. That's fair. All alone, Reaper. All oh. alone, Reaper. She the mirror does Power talk, but it's fine. Fingertips. It's electrifying. Boogie, woogie, woogie, boogie. On your own. No. You know why? It's more grease lightning. Because they're setting you up. What do you mean? Uh, who is? Fate. Everyone in the office. Oh, everyone. Haven't you seen them stare whenever you drift by? I haven't. You don't have what looking. it takes to succeed. Oh. You're a void. It's not very nice. Uh. I'm a nobody. What if I make a mistake? Burning at the stake. Drawn and quartered. Boiled and stuffed into a can. Into a can? No. Not even. Not worth that much effort. It's a bummer. Be seeing you. Okay, bye. Wait, did I not get paid? Cheap safe drones turn out not to actually be very safe. Kill technician during test flight. Experimenting drug dealer invents pal powerful hallucinogen. Accidentally stumbles off a bridge. Vast advances being made in research of reusable fuel cells. Researchers credit young talent involved in special project. A heartwarming tale. World's oldest person visited by their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren in largest ever family gathering. Abnormal rains pelt nearby county as meteorologists warns, warn of potential oncoming storms. Uh, hello? Do your job. Lucky day, or is it? Ah, the unjustly denigrated unlucky number 13. I fail to see the relevance of this kind of numerology. It is but a day like... It is but a day. Like all other days. A quota for the day. A total of three humans have to die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Spare any humans with an artistic background. Um, hello? No, there isn't... Cute, real cute. Thanks, cat. There's... What do you mean? There's no... What? There's... How do I do my job? I don't know if this is a bug or something. What is the cat doing? Cat lounges on the table, brushing her ear with her paw. The hell cat? Uh, you wouldn't happen to know what happened to my files. Cat pauses for a moment, then continues brushing herself, indifferent to your confusion. Did you do something with them? Before the cat has a chance to respond, the phone rings in an ear-piercing metallic clatter. You hear a familiar voice. Grim, are you there? Yes. The cat meows softly. Oh, Grim, Grim. Alas, I am disappointed. But it wasn't my fault. I hope to avoid having this discussion again. I didn't do it. Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you will realize the implications for the world and for yourself. The files weren't there. Hello, Grim. Ugh. You are silent. You have nothing to say. Well, I hope that is because you are rethinking the path you have chosen. Either way, this will be marked down as your second warning. Oh, pretty sure this is there my third, but many more. okay. Real nice, cat. Bah, hope you're happy. Can't stay mad at you, cat. You're so d goddamn cute. Alas, the cat has already fallen asleep. She purrs softly, contented. Nothing else to do but leave. I didn't get paid for yesterday. No, a bunch of people here. Yes? I'm spawn number 61. What's your name? Your name is Frank Whittle. Yeah, we don't have to be numbered spawns. Well, I used to be spawn number 142, but, uh, but sometimes you just wish you had a more memorable name. <laughs> well, Fair. I wanted to stand out more, <laughs> you know. You chose the name? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I never even considered the possibility. Yeah, I did because I mentioned it to the other guy. Uh, I also want a full name. One. What's stopping you? Good point. Yeah. Explain your intense am emanating sadness. You know about the butterfly effect. Yes, of course. Well, what if? Well, what if I'm that butterfly? Haphazardly fluttering around and and then millions of souls perish in anguish. <laughs> A weird way of par a, fr a weird way of phrasing things, but sure. I don't want that on my conscience. Should we even have consciences? I can't handle it. If we're being made to do this job, shouldn't they have left out the conscience? And that, that's the least of my problems. Last week, someone put my stapler in a large jar of strawberry jelly. Wait, so the stapler thing is more awful than millions in anguish? That's outrageous. How did you get it out? Kind of mean. It's pretty funny though. Yeah, no, I couldn't <laughs> believe it either. I was outright <clears throat> flabbergasted, and that's still not all of it. Last month I There's had to a work dog department. Oh happens. no! But I love dogs. Oh no! I know, right? And the people in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. You'd have to be to work in the dog department. I was scared for the afterlife. I was. <laughs> Wait. It's. <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> We weren't human before this, I thought. So this is an afterlife. We were created for this, I thought. What are you saying? But you know, before that, someone filled my room with balloons. Hang on, is someone just yes, picking on you? That's oh. what I've been trying to tell you. Who? I have an inkling it's the one they call Lance Thrasher. They, they're... People in here calling someone Lance Thrasher? Thrasher? Don't worry, the name's not as cool as Frank Whittle. Hmm. Yes, and people keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. Fair. How fun they are to hang out with, how awesome they are, how amazing. Sure. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. Hmm, they immediately sound exhausting. Yes, right? <laughs> I don't get it either. So, sure. I thought I had to let oh. them know. Mm. I walked straight over to Lance and I told them that I don't find them riveting and I don't particularly care about their lame jokes. Lance Thrasher must have been devastated. You don't hold back, do you? Then what happened? That's not much of a tell-off, but okay. But then Lance just said, keep it real, and then went on to do a handstand on their desk. Ugh. Everyone in the office started chanting their name. Sounds terrible. Lance. Lance, Lance, Lance. And then they put your stapler in a jar of strawberry jelly? And all those other things. Why do you think it's them? That's intense. I totally feel better about my problems now. So, problem solver, what do oh, you think? Oh, did I what say? Did I well, you can't stoop to their level. You must be the one to balance it out. You should get back at Lance. Make them leave you alone. Sorry, but you yourself seem to be the source of all your problems. Dang, the whole universe seems to be against right? you. That's exactly how I feel. But not you. Oh. You're a great listener. Sure. And that helps a bit to know that someone cares and understands. Mm, that's a stretch. Thank you, friend. Oh. Now I uh, I must head back to work. Good luck. This is a human. Maybe not. Mm, accentuate the morphological feel. Oh, some reclassification of the framing stratum. Uh huh. What? Ah, I should have known. <laughs> Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. Oh, have I? Maybe. Ah, uh, meta resonance trigger. It's you. I've seen you wobble around the cellar somehow through the floor. I haven't, though, but that's probably just because I wasn't being very, uh, yes. perceptive, I guess. I down in the depths. I am the prime curator of the Abysmal Archive. The archive of all existence. I see. All the bits I've managed to catalog thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? Kind of figured, yeah. More than you are able to conceive. Makes sense. Ah, uh, yet I see promise in you, Spawnling. So let me tell you uh, a secret. I do love secrets. 
You see, the archive sprouts a mind. What? Eons ago, incomprehensible to most. <laughs> Those were the days. Uh -huh. It was so oh. young then, Fate and I. Too strapping. Are you like man. brothers? There was little in the archive initially, but it didn't sure, take sure. long for it to start growing, expanding. Fate was younger once? How old are you two? Pay attention. Oh. Don't get sidetracked. I can't allow you to mess with the structure of this dialogue. Okay, my bad. We must proceed on topic and in an orderly manner. Now, the archive kept expanding. Uh -huh. Until it achieved awareness of oh. a sort. A consciousness. But not a kind you'll easily recognize and engage with. What kind? We couldn't foresee this happening. Yeah, that's not... The awakening of the archive. Like over here, but... It's development into a unique... Uh, uh, is it dangerous? It's not malevolent. I it's see. It's not in any way we're accustomed to thinking. The mm -hmm. archive isn't inherently evil. Oh, good. Uh huh. Simplistic dualism will lead you astray. How does one navigate the archive? Carefully. <laughs> is that what? Hyun, Hyun, Hyun? Okay. It wouldn't be wise to stumble into the archive without an escort who understands the territory. It strikes me that you might be just such an ex escort. Space foes becoming uh. labyrinthine. One can get lost. I know. I've misplaced a few interns in this manner. That doesn't <laughs> sound good. Poor sod. Yeah. Although no one knows what happens to the disappeared, they may not be dead. Well, any more dead than one already is in this office. Awesome, I want to visit. Alas, visitations oh. are limited to professional archivists only. Then why did you act like I could get a tour? Oh, it calls to me, so I must return. I hope you enjoyed our talk. Sure. Anything new? Why, hello again. Hello. And as always, glad to see a returning customer. Two weeks sure. down and you're still kicking. Well done. Thank you. At least someone appreciates me. Hey, uh, see, I've been thinking and oh. uh, I was hoping you'd explain it to me, the, the process. I don't know if I'm allowed to, but what sure. Choices. How do you really decide who gets to live and who doesn't? Mark an equal amount to live and die. Carefully compare all data with the requirements. Gut feeling, whoever looks suspicious. Flipping a coin, let chance decide. I don't really care. I pick whoever. Carefully compare all data. Your dedication and diligence are noteworthy. Must take you a long time, though. The rules are clear, the files are clear, match one to the other. No, not that long. I'm very good at it. Yes, but it's worth it to avoid mistakes. You may be, but the hope that everyone else is on the same level... True. Never mind me. I simply ain't one to trust the chain when I can see the other end. Fair. Okay, then another question I've been pondering about the process. Sure. Do you think about the people after you've made the decision or do you forget all about them after it's done they haunt my dreams at night yeah i can't stop thinking about the consequences it's all abstract data to me by now i remember but what's done is done eh don't care it's like i remember only because i get a text message updates like an rss feed that uh tells me what the, what happened like what the consequences are but then like as soon as i put my phone down i forget again so it's like heck that's you yeah. lost the connection with humanity. Did I ever have it? Doesn't all of it make you uh, anxious? No. It sure makes me, and I ain't even the one choosing. I have enough things to be anxious about. All the pressure. Gazing upon the decision tree. It branches out across infinity. Across space and time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the answers. Anything I can get you? What's the deal with Lady Poddington? Fate's cat. For a ball, ain't she? Always poking around in search of mischief. Yeah, she won't let me pet her. She sneaks down here too, so I feed her a few morsels. I want to pet the cat. The first, like, perfect Stop. <laughs> it's nice she keeps fate company. Fate's archaic. All those aeons might not be good for the, you know, mentality. Sure. What else you got in mind? Someone contacted me using a profile. What did this mysterious entity want? They wanted me to follow weird orders. And do you follow him, or what? Uh, uh, I want to see where this leads. Good on you for the curiosity. 
stick up those boring days of yours, eh? So true. <sighs> Elsewise, truth be told, I'm of little help. I don't know what goes around in the office. I just own the den. Yeah. What else you got in mind? Tell me about the archivist. The prime curator of the archive, you mean? Sure. They work down in the cellar, below Mortimer. I haven't met anyone so enamored with structure and organizations before, but I guess it comes with the territory. Mm hmm You two ought to get along fine. In fact, just bond over the equilibrium and standardizations and the like. Sure. Maybe you should eventually apply for an archive job instead. How do I do that? No, I'm kidding. Oh. I don't think it works like that. The abysmal archive is a wild land and not easy to enter. What happened to the music? Oh, what okay. else you got in mind? I'll be going Au now. Revoir, Lil Au revoir. Revoir. Yeah, I mean, like, when would I have seen him? I don't think I have any money. Oh, I do. Pursue the finest booty you've ever seen. Well, pursue the booty, all right. What's this? Ephemeral mortality widget. A coin, the thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. Peculiar flex swirled disquiet disquietingly inside this glass globe, never settling. In the middle of the storm stand figures too difficult to discern. Everything seems to be in a state of constant transfiguration. The clown thing. I'm going to take this. And put it in. To to the ruthless Corsair, uh, Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Put it in the uh, piggy the bank. Existing item of a See what happens. Mad Thad landed in their mm -hmm, village, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. gathered up each and every one, sage and king and beggar alike, and let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. About half the civilization died that day, the rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then my crew laid upon Thad's war gallery near the no, gorge of the Telenor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, tis useful if ye can't decide what to eat for dinner. Um, alright, let's go to bed. Anything? <laughs> Psst. Hey, we don't like what we see. It's suspicious. What do you mean? Uh, uh what is? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean. Did I talk to the cat today? What a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper, not the others. I don't know who you are. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me. Shh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be off. How do I know when it's you speaking, though? Oh, so I must have already talked to them. Sure. Oh, I can't put... I can't? Oh! Oh! I see. The Daily Moon, another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. Always cheerful, Rosalie was born to- Grim, listen! Sorry I took so long. You made the choice and got censured for it, but I had to test you to know if you have what it takes. I won't ask anything that big again, but I ask you for your trust. And for small acts of defiance, you should let this one live. Stand against fate's rules and I will show you what lies beneath. Let's see what the instructions are, actually. I expect you in my office for your performance review after you are done today. Do not worry about that right now, though. Focus on the task at hand. Quota for the day. Five humans have to die. Anyone related to transportation industry has to die. Choose humans at the left side of the profile bundle to die. But I'm... But I moved them. But see, if I put it over here... <laughs> Alright. Um, special agent. Melissa... I didn't even read it, did I? Yeah, yeah. Rosalie Sand. Flight attendant. This agent for the Bureau of Agriculture Espionage has always wanted to be a bodyguard for the president, as they have extensive experience in safeguarding the well-being of crops and other flora. They once even played double agent for two contesting potato magnates. Elias Sarazen. Cook. Elias chose to learn- Wait a second. 
The left side of the profile bundle, that was on the left side. Oh, that, oh, I see. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Elia chose to learn the art of gastronomy because it felt like a decent, stable job. Good food is always needed. Aside from cooking, they enjoy long treks through nature and mountain climbing. Um, so you go over here. No. Angus Armitage, policy consultant. There's nothing like the smell of freshly mined coal in the, mor in the morning. At least that's what Angus believes. They consult politicians on all energy-related policies, always advocating for more drilling, more mining, more cutting. Clean energy is for losers, apparently. Europa Steel. Ooh, recruiter. Europa is a top gun at many multi-level marketing companies that sell everything from super juices and vitamins to toilet scrubs. Despite starting their every recruitment pitch with, it's not a pyramid scheme, but they keep bringing in dozens of naive people every week. Mary Ursa, game designer, artist. Oh, Merle Ursa. Merle has been trying to make the greatest game for a while now. To find inspiration and because they love traveling, they attend a diverse range of gaming events, conventions, and conferences. It's really just a specific type, type of tourism. Merle also enjoys marathon running. What we got? We got four so far. Are there any others that are actually... Yeah, that's transportation. Okay. Augusta Zagsma is a taxi driver. Augustus dreams of becoming a millionaire, but is also content with being a taxi driver. Their cab is decorated from hood to trunk, featuring several disco balls, aquarium wallpaper, and subwoofers playing techno rave on full blast. Yeah, put everyone out of their misery. All right, Melissa, we already talked about her. She's going to live because we already have five. Anya Karpova, who needs st statistics when you have fancy algorithms and amazing concepts like AI and machine learning? Not Anya Karpova, that's for sure. They just put the data in and regard the results as absolute truth requiring no critique. The almighty machine knows all. Yikes. Laurenthal Singh, supermarket cashier. Laurenthal is a full-time cashier and they've embraced the grind with a will of steel. Their beacon in darkness is spa space exploration. Laurenthal supports every act taken towards space and then they, and they even take cosmology astronomy classes in the community college with hope with the hope one day contributing to the cause. I think there's an of missing there, but wait. So like, I think this is just for my own organization. He's back. I have returned. Did you miss me? Uh, thank the gods. No, sure. I like our little Great. chats. I am glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. Uh huh. So, okay. Yes. Today is your two week performance evaluation. Yeah, this week was a little weird compared to last week. But before that, we must oh. quickly check your daily conduct. Sure, I'm sure you'll find everything is in order. Mm. Where did I place those papers, please? Where are Maybe you? the cat took them. Ah, here we go. Right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. I see. Ah, Grim. How should I put it? You're proud of me? Well, your situation is adequate. Admittedly, I expected better of you. You follow orders well, most of the time. Your contribution is up to par, but you lack that inner spark. Uh, what does that even mean? Thinking outside the box, seeking the convergence of holistic solutions. Highest management expects a level of proactivity in order to secure any innovative paradigm shift. Well, I wasn't told that. I feel like you told me to follow orders. Overall, you are deemed mediocre. However, we still see some promise. As such, you are to be granted a small bonus. An incentive, yes? Okay. I hope this inspires you to improve your performance levels for the ultimate evaluation in just another two weeks. 
ultimate evaluation. Oh, that is a nice little bonus. Okay. See, first of all, what do we got in here? Back from our booty, are you? Yeah, because <laughs> I want this thing. Oh wait, the annals of transients help keep track of any passing temporalities. It counts the days in a month from one to twenty-eight. Those are all the days, all of them. Uh, but I wanted this, but this kind of sounds useful. Blimey, we scoured now every inch for this calendar. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchantmen for it. Cause turns out it weren't even on a ship. Oh. Still worth it for the annals worked on any year. Sure. Filled to the brim with arcane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. Okay. And in the footnotes, I uh, finally I procured click. it from Whoops. an old man on the steps of Acropolis. Cool. Let's see. Oh, no. Let's check out the bar. Hey, it's the same dudes as last. Because that was today. Oops. You guys got anything to say? Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. Okay. Uh, fertilizer for the Ew. new. Come oh. on, Grim. That's disgusting. <laughs> Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? But I'm not human? caring office of eternal bureaucracy. Picking and choosing lives. Um. I love structure. I love order. The love of an unrestrained monstrosity. Fair. No one is in control. The fiend devours life with no supervision. Uh. What? And you think I should do something? We should. Shouldn't we? Is this the royal we? Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. Seeing you. Okay. All right. I think we're gonna end the day and then call it here. Um, I think it auto saves. So, um, yeah. Let's go back to where we. Where originally? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was death and taxes the first two weeks. Apparently two more weeks and then we have our major evaluation. So if you guys would like to see more of this game and see what happens after the next two weeks, let me know and I will record the rest of it. Um, but I'm going to leave it there for now. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you got this far... Let me know what your thoughts were and if there's anything else you'd like to see me play in the future. And otherwise, I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.